welcome to Relax and Paint this morning. And I wanted to share with you some of the colors that all we're going to use. I want to see how this turns out. I'm excited to try something I thought would be pretty. Um, we're using Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. And we have the 8-ounce titanium white. But I like also wicker white. We have the floating medium we use instead of water, just to make sure you know that. I've got one of my Donna D. Ray stencils. I have two butterfly ones. This has all the Monarch ones in it of, of uh, four sizes. But also my other one, this has a side view. The other stencil with butterflies is different butterflies and dragonflies. So just heads up, I wanted to share that with you. I'm going to use my stencil brush. With a, there, I've got a set of three. They're synthetic nylon. They're really good. And you're going to like those. And so I'm going to um, just put this one pretty butterfly here. Um, I really, well, maybe I'll do this one. I think I might do this one. Um, I can't make up my mind today what I want to do. So you're going to pick up white with a dry stencil brush. This is my smallest one. I don't have my 16 here. I'd probably like my 16, 16 more, but I want you to see I'm rubbing it off. And I'm going to come right in here and make circle, circle, circles, left and right, which means it'll get into all these different crevices. Now, what you want to do, I'm on um, heavy-duty art paper. And what I'm doing is a canvas would be nice, too. But on this, I just picked up a teeny bit more white. Um, I am going to do the white so that I can see where, which sections to put a pretty color in, right? Okay, so now we're going to pick that up and see there's this. That's just going to make it really easy for you to start, okay? So I am going to clean this brush out because I want to come back and do um, a brown lines on it and show you that you don't have to do all the teeny lines. We can do it a quick and easy way. So I'm going to just dry that off for now, let it sit there. And we are going to take, let's use our eight flat. And let's put some pretty colors in here. I'm going to work on a yellow one. One of the colors I really like is a new, that's metallic gold. It's new Daybreak. Is this it? Yeah. Daybreak. And it's a really yummy yellow tone. And it's got a white base, which will help um, with the colors that I wanted to do here. Now, I do want daffodil yellow. But right now, I'm going to leave this part white. And then come all in here, okay, and along, along there, okay, and all along here. So you're just going to base coat in kind of like an ombre color, all right, and we're going to come right in the center here. And then I'm going to put gray around it. Let's come right through here. These are, I made it so it's an easy, quick. Most asked for is Donna. I can do the pretty shading that you do. But what I can't do is get them exactly perfect side to side. Because uh, butterflies, they mimic whatever's here is over there. So if you have all this in here. It makes it really easy for you to duplicate the other side. All right. So earlier today, I did do a live where I did a, a number two script liner to do all this detail. Now I'm going to show you that you don't even have to use that. So we'll try that and see what you think. I'm going to come in here and put some gray in. So I pick up a little bit of white and then gray. All right. And so it's going to come right in here. And you can use steel gray. I'm using medium gray and white. All right, so let's come right in here. See, you just want to mimic what's on the other side. All right, also in here. All right, right in here is a darker gray because the background's gray. That's going to kind of do it for you. Some white and gray. All right, so we're going to come gray here, gray there. 
and then this gray right in here, right? Okay, now I keep washing that off. Now let's pick up white. So what's going to happen is I'm going to put all white right in here because then we're going to put some bright Pueblo and colors on there. Right along here. And then right in the top here. And so if we put a white along here, then all the detail that goes in here will look good with that burn umber. So let's come right here. And then we're going to go right up here. So we're going to wiggle across the top a little bit, filling it in. Okay. Now, same thing over here. We're going to come all the way over here. I just thought this would be a nice, peaceful little project to do. And remember, you can stop me. This. Oops, I filled in this. That's okay. We'll fill this in, too. We'll come put color over there. All right, so... Um, a little bit of this out here. Okay. And see, oh, we're going to do some bright yellow right in here. All right, we have. Daybreak and Daffodil. Okay. And we're going to have just a little bit of yellow here. All right. Now, so I want some dark in the middle. And so what, um, what I'm going to do is come right in here. There we go. So I came over here. Okay. Now the center, I did gray, and I may take off. See, I put a little bit of that yellow on the gray. Let's take off. All right. Now I'm going to come in here. You could use some yellow ochre, a little bit of yellow ochre, and that would... Be a little bit in here. And a little bit of yellow ochre in here. And in here. Okay. And then I'm doing Pueblo. Now Pueblo is going to come right in here. All right, see, so I'm laying this down. It's on the chisel. Do y'all see that? I'm going to come right up here. Let me go all the way up here. And I'm going to put a little bit in here. See, that's going to put some pretty color in there. Now, I want to put Pueblo way out here. A little bit in here. And same thing over here. I'm going to leave a little bit of white showing. Okay. Right. And... I'm just going to put a teeny bit of Pueblo 
all along in here. Okay, let's put a little bit more gray. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. And now what I wanna do, I just wanna get a 16 flat. Thanks for being on with me this morning or whenever you're watching, okay? Don't look, there's all kinds of different ones. So um, check them out. And here's the second one. The second one has, oh, that's the same one. The second one has dragonflies, these wider butterflies and side view of this. And then all these side ones. And then this one is uh, this wing is coming towards you and that wing's in the back. So it makes it kind of fun. All right. So I am going to um, put some really pretty ro yellow roses in here. So I'm going to pick up yellow ochre with daffodil. And then I'm going to work in the white. All right. So I'm going to come right up here. All right, so we can put some of the, a little bit of Pueblo in there too. All right, so I'm gonna come back in here and pick up, put it right here so y'all can see it, and pick up a little bit more. So daffodil and white, all right. So I'm gonna come right in here Pick up some more. All right. I'm gonna come out here. All right, so. I'm going to come right out here. Now watch this. We can just lay it down. All right. I'm going to Have some little roses, yellow roses hanging, yellow rose of Texas. <laughs> All right, so All right, so we're gonna come right in here. So we're going to put some deeper yellow in the middle. See, so that you see how you put your cup in there. I'm going to turn it around. All right, so also let me show you too. This is the uh, tone gray. We have these at the, in our website. 184 pounds. Okay. All right, so look at those colors. Aren't they pretty? All right, so we're going to come right here. A little bit more. All right. I'm going to come right along here.
All right, so now as we're coming in here, we're going to curve that in. Now watch how I lay this white out. I'm going to slide here, lay it out, and stand up. Lay the white out and stand it up. All right, so we're just going to Up. Might make it look pretty. I got too much of the Pueblo right in there. Okay, so yeah, make this kind of tight. All right. So we're going to come right in here and get some green. A little bit of yellow. All right. So I'm going to come right in here. All right. So. I'm going to bring this around. I'm going to pull the stem in there. Pull this around here. Okay, so all right, let's get some of this color back in there. Okay, so one thing that can happen that makes this really nice is that we can just come in here and pick up greenery and pull some of these in. All right, so.
Okay. So I'm going to just come out here. So. You do that so curly cues if you want to. All right. So I'm going to dry this. One of the things we're going to do with the little small scrubby is to just pounce a little bit. Okay. All right. So I'm going to dry that because I want to put the stencil back over it. Okay. Where is it? So, isn't that pretty with that yellow? All right, so I'm going to make sure that my stencil brush is dry, and I'm going to use gray this time. Oh, no, I'm not I'm using brown. Sorry, sorry. So I'm going to get brown, tap it, and it's probably kind of still wet, so I'm going to go right here, rub it off, rub it off, rub it off, because I just want the last little bit to be on there. Okay. All right. Oh, this is not it. There it is. They were saying today that if you use um, power wash on here, put it in water, and then when you're ready, use power wash. That uh, that is working great. All right, let's do there. I lined up my antennas. I might make it a little bit darker. Uh, antennas with some licorice. Left, right. I'm going to hold this and check it out. I'm getting a little too heavy. Left, right, yeah, right. Pick up some of that because I think I put too much in there. Uh, I saw it with gray. It looked really good, but this brown, I don't know. All right, so I'm going to pick that. That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and take my liner and also reinforce it with a little bit more dark brown. All right. So what we do have are these little dots here. So I'm going to go back over that. I want to roll this brush. Let's get a little bit of water. Roll it. I actually can put a little bit of that dark green in there to just make it darker. Okay. Oops, right there. It wasn't all dry up there. 
I can put it in another little leaf there. All right, so I'm going to do the antenna. All right, so one, and then pull. Ideally, you want to let everything totally dry, which I am not. And then it will work. Okay. I'm going to roll that. Okay, so we're going to come all the way down. Okay. Okay. All right. So see the difference? I wanted it just really light, but I think it really needed it to be darker. All right. You put your hand right under your hand to steady it. Okay. All the way around. Roll the brush, pick up fresh paint, and some more. All right. I just wanted to play around with this this morning, so just remember. This saves you a lot of time on butterflies, but it is um, a fun little technique here. Because instead of tracing out the butterfly, drawing it, and then trying to fill in, it automatically does it for you. Okay. Let me put some more right here. All right, so I'm going to come right around here. Okay. Right, so see, that makes it really stand out. And as it's dry, as you can come back and a little shading on on the center there. I could come in with a little bit of Pueblo. A little bit of Pueblo in there. All right. There you go. I can still come in here, guys, and put a little bit of white along here. Put a little bit of highlight. I'm going to put a couple of curly cues in there and we are going to be done. Roll it, roll it. Okay.
Yeah. All right. I got a fun. Well, I hope you have a great day. And please try to paint one of these roses or a butterfly and show it to us right on our YouTube channel. I mean, right on our Facebook group. <laughs> so we'll see you later. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.